Welcome back on Arts Alive. From Highton Gallery, we're now going to St. George's Hall to meet with Dot Art, an art gallery and consultancy also involved in developing art culture in schools, who organised a prize giving event to encourage and highlight children's artwork. Dot Art Schools is an annual online inter school art competition um, for Year 9 and Year 6, um, which culminates in an exhibition. Uh, and this is the exhibition for 2015, it's our third year and we've had 48 schools from across the Liverpool City region taking part. Um, we had 800 pieces of artwork submitted online initially. Um, they were then uh, shortlisted by our shortlisting panel um, down to a top three from each school and then in April we had a public vote um, where um, parents, teachers, students could vote online for their favourite piece from each school and that's what you see in the exhibition here today, the top piece from each school. Um, we then have a prize giving um, in the concert room of St George's Hall, really stunning venue, um, where each of the top three students are presented with a certificate and we also announced the overall winner that was selected by our guest judge, Susan Coles. Um, it was originally set up um, about three years ago now. We were asked by um, uh, a secondary school in Liverpool if we could do something with their children working online, similar to how we work with artists in the rest of our work as, as an organisation. Um, and we developed with them this programme that would sort of raise ambition, nurture talent and really try and get art out of the classroom into the real world and encourage creativity in a time where perhaps creativity has been taken out of the curriculum a little bit. So several of our schools have had um, like after school art clubs that have come together to, to get work involved and to, to submit work um, and I think that, um, you know, as I say, the school, the schools are really having so much pressure to, to focus on academic subjects and we hope that this will give an extra impetus to, to, to do more artwork and create more lovely artwork that will really stimulate the children and give them a full rounded education. There's huge talent in the city and you know some of the works that are around here today are a fantastic standard. I mean our winner is absolutely wonderful and a really good range as well. We've got photography, we've got mixed media, we've got um, paintings and all sorts. So, so yeah I think, uh, I think they look really really good. I'm Susan Coles, I'm an Arts Creativity Educational Consultant. I'm also um, past president of the National Society for Education and Art and Design. And I also work as a, a member of an all-party parliamentary group on Art, Craft and Design Education, which I helped set up with my MP. And I'm also um, a very strong activist and advocate for the arts. I was a judge today and I'm really, really pleased to be asked because it's about showcasing children's work and I think at the moment that's really important. Well because there have been curriculum changes in the country that have squeezed the arts out of importance in many schools, not all schools, and I think every opportunity that children have to be themselves, to express themselves, should be encouraged and should be celebrated. Quite difficult to choose without criteria, so I asked if they had criteria, and they talked about whether people had promise as an artist, so I tried to find work that was very individual and a little bit innovative as well as being technically interesting. And I also tried to find work where I thought there was an idea and a message behind the work. So what are your future projects? What are you working on next? Well, at the moment we're trying to reconvene our all party parliamentary group on art, craft and design education so that we can advocate for more arts and that includes drama, dance, music as well as art. And um, as an artist myself, I'm a member of a group called Sketchbook Circle which has 200 teachers around the country who all share sketchbooks that get posted one to the other and we have a major exhibition, at a huge gallery called the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art in Gateshead in the autumn. Several prizes were given and we've met with one of the outrunner for primary schools. So you, you work, you, you won uh, a prize today, can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, it's a country, it's like a landscape um, and we have to use like certain types of ink, like special ink, so we have to be really careful about what we use and um, that we don't like, because like, we like, didn't know what the ones to use. So. And how did you decide to do a landscape? Why did you want to do a landscape absolutely? Um, because um, I used to go to art club in my school and um, they took me to a side and said um, we're doing an art competition and um, we'd like you to enter 
and we're going to do landscapes and there's a picture where you try and copy it so it's just, you know, I'll just copy it. And so what kind of um, uh, oil paint did you use for that? Um, I used uh, crimson red paint and I used um, a certain type of diesel blue with colour. And uh, there's plenty of colours on that. But there's lots of blue though. Is it is it meant to represent the sea or? Yeah, it's a, to be like a bit of like a sunset or to see. The exhibition is open to the public from uh, tomorrow, Friday the 5th of uh, June, right up to Saturday the 20th. Um, so come down to St George's Hall and have a look for yourself.